वेलकम टू द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम एंड कोर्स इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द थ्री टेक्निक्स ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेशन फॉर आ साइंड बाइनरी नंबर इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अ फ्यू मोर एक्सरसाइजेस टू हैव बेटर आइडिया ऑन दोज टेक्निक्स सो फर्स्ट वी विल रिप्रेजेंट प्लस वन हंड्रेड एंड माइनस वन जीरो फोर दिस टू नंबर आर गिवेन इन डेसीमल नंबर सिस्टम वी विल रिप्रेजेंट देम इन बाइनरी नंबर सिस्टम एंड फर्स्ट वी विल यूज साइन मैग्नीट्यूड रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड फॉर दैट वी विल बी यूजिंग एट बिट्स सो बिफोर दैट वट वी टू डू इज फर्स्ट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट प्लस हंड्रेड एंड प्लस वन जीरो फोर इन टू their equivalent binary values so this is the binary equivalent of 100 here we have 7 bits and this is the binary equivalent of 104 plus 104 again here we have 7 bits and these two are already in binary are represented in binary number system but here what we have to do is we have to represent by using 8 bits and also we have to use sign magnitude representation so if we now want to represent 100 in sign magnitude representation using 8 bits then the msb most significant bit here will represent the sign and since this is a positive number we know for positive number the msb is zero so this will be here in this position we will have zero and this is the complete binary representation similarly when we will represent minus 104 in sign magnitude representation the first seven bits from 0th to 7th position they all will represent the magnitude and the eighth bit the msb will represent the sign and this time it is negative sign so here it will be we know for negative sign or negative number the msb is 1 and this will be the complete representation in sign magnitude uh, representation form of minus 104 the next problem sum says that we have to find the decimal equivalent of this binary representation considering sign magnitude representation now first we will write the binary numbers what is given so 0 0 0 now in the first number we can see here we have 8 bits and we know that in sign magnitude representation first 7 bits they are reserved for magnitude and msb is reserved for sign so since in this number the in the msb position we have zero that signifies that this is a positive number similarly for this number also this also has 8 bits first 7 bits will represent magnitude and the last bit msb will represent sign here it is 1 so that signifies that this number is negative now we have to find or we have to convert it to its equivalent decimal number so we will take the magnitude part and then we will apply the technique that we know to convert from a binary number to a decimal number 7 bits are like this and here also first 7 bits are 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 so what we'll do is next this will be multiplied by 2 to the power 0 this will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 then this two bits are zero so even if we multiply by anything that result will be zero only and this will be multiplied by then what here the power of base or power of 2 is 1 so here the power will be 2 here 3 here it will be 4 so it will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4 and then again uh, after that all the all these two bits are zero so we don't need to bother about that here the first bit lsb will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0 then here the power will be 1 so it will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 then 0 0 so we don't have to bother this so 2 3 and then here it will be multiplied by 4 and this bit will be multiplied by 5 and if we do that then it will be here it will be 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 4 then plus 1 2 to the power 1 then 1 2 raised to the power 0 and finally it will be 2 4 8 then 16 here 2 and here 1 so finally it will be 
so in decimal number system the decimal equivalent is 19 here it will be 32 so here it will be 1 multiplied by 2 raised to the power 5 then plus 1 then 4 and then it will be plus 1 and then 1 0 so finally it will be how much it will be 32 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1 and it will be 51 since here in the msb position the value is 0 so it represents as i said it will be positive number so final representation will be plus 19 in the decimal number system but here in the msb position since we have one so that represents this number is a negative number so this number finally in the decimal number system will be minus 51 next we have to represent these two decimal numbers using eight bits in one's complement representation so first we have to find the binary equivalent of these two positive numbers first 102 and then plus 88 then we will represent by eight bits and then we will use whatever we know about this one's complement technique so first proceed with uh, the binary equivalent so this is the binary equivalent of 102 and here we have 7 bits and this is the binary equivalent of plus 88 and here also we have 7 bits and we have to represent these two numbers using 8 bits. So first we will write first 7 bits that represent the magnitude but using one's complement representation and we have already learned that in case of positive number the one's complement representation and two's complement representation they are same as sign magnitude representation so for this positive number the sign magnitude representation will be what first we will write the magnitude part using the seven bits so this will be magnitude part and the msb the last significant or most significant bit will be used to represent the sign and since this is a positive number for positive number in that place we use zero so this will be our one's complement representation for one zero two now we will represent this minus 88 using one's complement representation so what we have to do is as we know that we start from positive number here it is plus 88 then we represent its equivalent binary number that we have already done and then we will take the ones complement of that now if we represent plus 88 by using 8 bits then it will be 1011000 this 7 bits will represent magnitude and in msb position we will use zero as this time we are representing plus 88 then from there we will be taking the ones complement value so if we take ones complement value then zero all the zeros will become one all the ones will become zero so it will be one zero then one then zero zero one 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 so as we can see here the msb position now we have obtained one and we also know if we are taking one's complement and two's complement of a positive number then that becomes negative and vice versa so since we started from zero now this has become a negative number and this is the one's complement representation of minus 88 so this is one's complement of plus 88 and one's complement representation of minus 88 next the numbers are given in one's complement representation in that form and we have to find the decimal equivalent means the equivalent number in decimal number system so first i will write both the numbers now separately i will evaluate them first i will check the msb of both the numbers here for the first number the msb is one and msb is one means that signifies that the number is negative and for the second number the msb is zero that signifies that the number is positive in case of positive number we know that sign magnitude representation one's complement representation and two's complement representation all are same so this is the though this is one's complement representation of a positive number but this will be also equal to sign magnitude representation of the number so we know that the remaining seven bits here both the numbers have 
8 bits so this remaining 7 bits will give us the idea of the magnitude so what we have to do is we have to convert that part into its equivalent decimal number so it is 0 1 1 1 then 0 1 1 so this digit will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 0 this will be multiplied by 2 raised to the power 1 this will be 2 and here the power will be 3 and if we do that then what value we will get finally it is 2 raised to the power 5 means 32 then after that 4 so it will be 16 then after that we have 2 cubes so it is 8 then we have 2 and then we have 1 so if we add all these numbers it will be 9 so the decimal equivalent will be 59 then i will come to the first number now here as we can see as i said that the this is a negative number because of this one value of the msb so next what we will do if it is a negative number and if it is in one's complement form then what we do is we take one's complement of that given number so here it will be zero then one then zero one one then zero 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 and next we again this is for sign and the remaining seven bits will tell us about the magnitude so next we will have the decimal equivalent of that binary number so it is raised two raised to the power zero one two here the power will be three so it will be if we combine these values then it will be 64 plus 2 raised to the power 4 means uh, 16 then plus 8 so it will be 64 plus 16 means 70 80 and then it will be 88 and since this is a negative number so final value will be minus 88 now suppose if we want to verify this result whether we have got the correct result or not what we will do suppose we want to want to represent minus 88 in one's complement representation so what we will do first we will take plus 88 and this is the binary representation of plus 88 and then we will take the one's complement of that plus 88 and this is if we go back then this will be the one's complement of plus 88 so first seven bits they actually represent the magnitude that we know and the M in msb position we will have one as the number is negative so this will be the one's complement representation of minus 88 next we will find two's complement representation of the following decimal numbers so we are having 64 and minus 89 and in two's complement representation we will be using 8 bits that's what it is given so first what we have to do is we have to find the binary equivalent of both the positive numbers so it, 64 itself is positive that's what it is given so the binary equivalent of plus 64 will be 1 0 then 0 0 0 0 0 and since the number is positive so the sign magnitude representation of that number will be here in the msb position we will have zero because zero signifies positive number now we know for a positive number the sign magnitude ones and twos complement representation all are same that means we can say this is our twos complement representation of 64 now we will come to minus 89 one zero one one zero zero one now since we are first uh, representing plus 89 and using 8 bits so in the msb position we will have 0 for positive 89 and next what we will do we want to find two's complement so from here we have to find one's complement of this number and one's complement means zeros will be replaced by one and ones will be replaced by zero now from here we have to find two's complement now to get two's complement we add one two one's complement that is the rule so this is our one's complement representation or one's complement value and with that we will add uh, one so it will be now if we perform addition binary addition so here it will be one plus zero it will be one then one then one and remaining bits will be as they were there will be no change 
so this is the two's complement representation of minus 89 and uh, since this is a negative number that's why two's complement representation will be different from sign magnitude representation next where the two numbers are given and both the numbers are given in two's complement representation and from there we have to find their equivalent decimal number so let's proceed so i have written both the numbers in two's complement representation separately now if we evaluate the first number this first the first number has eight bits and in the msb position we can see the value is zero so that means this number is positive and if this is a positive number then two's complement one's complement and sign magnitude representation are same so only thing that we have to do is from remaining seven bits we have to find the equivalent decimal number and we know what is the rule now if we combine if we add all these numbers finally it will be six, 64 plus 32 it will be 96 plus 400 and then plus 2 plus 103 and this will be plus 103 the decimal equivalent now if we evaluate the second number here in msb position the value is one that signifies this is a negative number and when this is a negative number we have to perform the complement process so for the remaining seven bits now if we take the ones complement so it will be one then zero then one zero one zero zero this is the ones complement value now if we want to obtain the tools complement value then we have to add one to that so it will be zero plus one it will be one then zero then one zero one zero one so this is the tools complement value of the given number that we have obtained from first seven bits now on this we will perform the rule of getting the decimal number so one zero one zero then one zero one so this will be multiplied by two raised to the power zero then one then this one will be multiplied by two raised to the power two then now if we combine all these values it will give us uh, 64 then we have two raised to the power four means 16 then we have two square means four and then one so the result of addition will be 64 plus 16 so it will be 80 and then plus 4 plus 1 it will be 85 so 85 but since this number was negative number so the decimal equivalent will be minus 85 so these are the two equivalent decimal numbers in this class i have discussed all the possible combinations of sign magnitude one's complement and two's complement representation I hope you have gained a good knowledge on this. With that hope I end today's class. See you in the next class. Thank you.